Hey, it's Jordan here again, hardcoremusicstudio.com. This video is going to be part two to my River Oaks Inside the Mix video. If you didn't check out the first one, definitely go back and watch that first. Uh, in that one, I showed you my EQ for the acoustic guitars in the mix. And I got a lot of good feedback there, but got some questions about how I handled the compression for the acoustic guitars. So I wanted to do a follow-up video here and show you, show you the rest of the chain here. Quick refresher, I'll play the, uh, the track and solo the acoustics. So where we left off was the EQ on the SSL channel. So the next thing in the chain is the CLA-3A compressor. And I'll bypass my, my final insert here and we'll come, come to that later. So this is the compressor I love for acoustic guitars. You can see I'm literally using the acoustic guitar setting here. But this compressor doesn't have attack and release controls. So it's just a matter of adjusting the gain to get the amount of compression you want. Let me bypass this and we'll see how it sounds. So you can hear how there's a lot of dynamic range here. It's when he's hitting the, the lower notes at the start of each chord and then the higher strings in between. The, you know, the higher strings are quieter, they sound a bit, a bit weaker, and then the lower strings are louder, they kind of poke out a little bit. So what this compressor is going to do is it's going to bring down those louder ones and it's going to give the illusion or the effects that the quieter hits are being raised up. So let's do an A-B on that. And the attack's fairly fast on this compressor, but it's letting a little bit of the transient through, so it's also emphasizing that little bit of attack on the acoustics as well, giving us a little more brightness and energy to the pick sound, you know, the pick hitting the strings. And those two things together are just helping the guitar sound more consistent dynamically and more just upfront and in your face. And you can see it was only hitting, you know, at the most 5 dB of gain reduction. but it's going a long way towards giving us a more consistent, even acoustic tone while still being fairly transparent. You can't really hear the pumping or the in and out of the compressor. Following that, I've got an L1 limiter and I use this a lot on acoustics. And this is gonna further tame the, just the louder peaks, the louder hits on the acoustic. I'm not being very shy with this, here we go. So I hope you could hear, even with our first compressor on there, when the L1 was bypassed, we still get those the odd strum there that's just jumping out of the mix, it's making it sound uneven. This L1 really just grabs those and turns them down, and they happen so quickly that it's not very noticeable, it's not very audible what the limiter is doing, but it makes the acoustic sound way more consistent, helps to bring the volume of the quieter strums up so that we have a really nice, solid, evenly played uh, acoustic track. So pretty simple, just some compression with the CLA-3A and the L1 nailing it down in the mix. Just for fun, let's do one final playback with all of my plugins bypass and then I'll bring them in one by one. All right, I hope that gave you some good tips on how to compress the acoustic in your mix, what to look for, what to listen for. I'd love it if you could give me some feedback, either leave a short comment or hit the like button or the dislike if you didn't if you didn't like it, just give me something. Love hearing from you guys and if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. And lastly, I've got a free cheat sheet for you at hardcoremusicstudio.com. Click the link on this video here or below in the description. Just sign up for my email list and I'll send you that free mix cheat sheet along with a lot of other free resources and free training as well. So thanks again and I'll see you in another video soon.